telling Amy, my wife, last night, I said, hey, I'm going to be on this podcast. And she's like, I don't screw it up. And then I said, <laughs> I said, no, no, no. She's I need got to high go. expectations of I my said, ability. <laughs> yeah. I said, I said, no, I'm not going to. I won't embarrass you. But I said, you know, with Jason, the thing about it is, is if I ever run out of business ideas and I got it like 9,000, I'm calling you. <laughs> because every time I turn around, it's like you have another idea, you know. <laughs> I'll tell you this, you know, uh, being an entrepreneur, a lot of people want to come in and they want to have the $5 million website to get their business started so it looks good. And sometimes you just got to cook tacos at your house and go out on the street and sell them. And the website and the social media and the YouTube and the hats and the T-shirts and the car wrap and the all that stuff is certainly wonderful if you want to spend money on it. But... Uh, I see a lot of people do that and it doesn't always turn out the best. Agreed. You know, you definitely got to, you definitely got to have some perspective. I mean, you know, you're exactly right. It's nice to have all these things. There's definitely some credibility that goes there to somebody that maybe don't know you or whatever. You, you come up with a wrap car and matching, you know, swag and promotional products and you're handing out pins or whatever. But at the end of the day, whatever it is that you're selling, or whatever value it is that you're trying to provide somebody, that's got to speak for itself. Yeah, I do different shit all the time. Um, I think, I think, um, well, I have to, you know. I, at the same time, I've also been a draftsman for 20 years, so I mean, that's my support system. You know what I mean? I like I have that income, so whenever I go off the rails with a podcast or a Harley or whatever <laughs> the hell. My, you know, the, after the bills come in and then it's like, okay, I, I got to work the next, you know, six days straight, you know, it reels me back in. I think the, I think the real sad thing is, is that the, the, that the, that the people out there that hopefully are listening to this, that have a million ideas that, you know, they just, they get up in the morning and they go do their nine to five and they say, oh, that would never work for me. You know, that's, that's depressing. You know what I mean? I, you, you got to act on some of that stuff. You got to. You know, you got to be vulnerable. You got to throw some of that stuff out there and see what happens. You know what I mean? Well, my, you know, my wife's in education and, you know, there's times throughout the day, you know, I'll send her a text. It'll take three hours to get back. It might be, you know, do you want to, you know, and so I ask people that are entrepreneurs, you know, could you go and be a teacher? Mm -hmm. Could you actually go? And I get it. They get a lot of time off and that's all fine and dandy. But could you sit there and every day be there and continue to grow those kids and, you know, be on that strict of a routine. Sometimes I like to stay up till 1130 mm-hmm. on a weeknight. Yeah. You know, <laughs> wait, I always stay up till 11. I'm not that old. I'm not that old. 